Welcome to Hokkaido Assassins, this is it. We finally made it to the final destination of the game. I've really enjoyed playing through Hitman, but it's finally nice to see light at the end of the tunnel. Like my previous videos, I'm going to be showing you all the challenges here in Japan, as well as showing off as many of the conversations as possible, so that you get a nice rich story. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. I think it's really silly that every time the ICA drops off Agent 47 at a high stakes mission, they always try to hide him under the guise of Tobias Reaper. You figure somebody would have caught on to it by now, but apparently not. Not very stealthy in my opinion. And doesn't this map look great? I like the little town down there with the fireworks, the big mountain. The music here is excellent as well. It's a little bit subtle, but very thematic in Japanese, I guess you could say. There's intel everywhere, and I'm going to try to collect some of it. Beginning with this one. Gamma Hospital Pamphlet, a pamphlet describing the facilities at Gamma. Patients are encouraged to enjoy themselves at the spa, restaurant, and in the outside winter garden. Entry to the facility's many sections is granted by Kai, the resident artificial intelligence. Kai recognizes the chips implanted in your clothes and will automatically grant you access to the areas of Gamma that you are allowed to visit. Patients with appointments at the hospital facility will be notified through the very annoying hospital's PA system. So I'm going to start Hokkaido with a bang and a ton of challenges and this video is going to show Mood Alteration, Tech Man, The Herald, Telltale Heart, No Heart Feelings, Guardian Angel, What's Up Dog, Namaste, Jeg Sauna, Hende Ike, Hot Springs, The Watchmen, A Bit of a Stretch, Someone Could Hurt Themselves, On Track, and of course Silent Assassin and No Evidence. 
So that's the main hospital area. There's some waterfalls in the back. I am, of course, in the outside winter garden. And it's very nice out here. That right there is the medical director of the hospital. And he does have a few interesting conversations. So I'm going to go ahead and eavesdrop on one of them right now. Yes? Ah, Mr. Williams. Has it already been a month? Kai's been running very smoothly, thank you. The software engineers ironed out a few wrinkles last week. I'm happy to say we've had zero incidences since your last calibrations. Indeed, the new facial recognition algorithms have been a fine addition. Most of our visitors seem to enjoy the added layer of interaction. Oh, the only thing that comes to mind is a comment about the shall we say, intangible nature of Kai. Some of the clientele, mostly of Western origins, feel a slight discomfort of a disembodied voice. I will not repeat what Mr. Dexter said, but suffice to say he had strong feelings about it. Really? Well, that would be very interesting to explore further. I've always held the position that we would eventually replace the non-essential care staff with artificial help. I'd be interested in hearing more. Wonderful. I'll look forward to a presentation when you next visit. So a bit of information about Kai there. This car is just so peaceful. I enjoy it. Not going to be peaceful for some people over the next few videos though. Can guarantee you there's going to be some blood spilled. That guy's kind of funny. He absolutely hates his job. So you notice that I have no loadouts. It's just Agent 47 in his robe. So I'm going to take this hammer with me. Now once you reach Mastery Level 20 for Hokkaido, then you can actually start with a loadout. But until then, you're on your own. I'm going to wait here a little bit so I can eavesdrop on another cell phone conversation. And that's the guy who's going to be making the call. Yeah, the gig's alright. Food's decent. Most of the people here are just lazy rich people. It's not like Mogadishu, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, you'll never guess who I'm out here with. That former Cicada pilot, Nails. Remember him from Shanghai? That's the one. He's still dealing, too. I shit you not. I think he's making a decent bonus on supplying the VIPs here with under-the-counter merchandise. He flew in some important doctor. I'm pretty sure he's supplying him as well. Well, let's just say the doctor's been in a few consultations already, and he walks away looking very mellow. I know. Yeah, good thing I'm not the one having heart surgery. So it looks like the helicopter pilot has been supplying pills to the chief heart surgeon. So that's pretty interesting. Try to tuck that away in the back of your mind. I'll come back to it in a future video. But for now, let me pick up this remote control here. And this is a neurochip remote control. This is a remote control used to increase or decrease the chemical dosage released from the neurochip residing in the curator's brain. So I'm going to follow up on that and get a bit more intel on it but first things first I need a better disguise and you should recognize the song playing here this is none other than Jordan Cross which I killed in Bangkok I should say who I killed in Bangkok not which I killed in Bangkok what am I in third grade again So, so how does it work? 
that does it work? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, it'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is, very interesting bit of insight into his Fine, fine, I'll just have to ask you again when we're drunk. Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. And that's the really annoying PA system that I warned you about. It's going to go off every video and it'll override any conversation you're listening to. So it's super annoying. There's a curator. It's me. Are the final details in place? Oh, well, he was very handsomely rewarded. Not that he fully understood the rarity of the boy's magnificent heart, of course. <laughs> oh, that goes without saying. I do still wish we'd be able to put it into someone, well, younger, frankly. There are only so many years left in the old man, after all. <sighs> Such is the nature of my art. I take and I give. Perhaps once Soda's body has given up, I can recollect the heart? There's a certain poetry to that, I think. Oh, no, no, that's for another time. We'll talk again. So, my friend, it must be quite an experience coming to Gamma. I mean, you were in a, dare I say, a public hospital before this. Isn't that right? I worked very hard to get here. Six more years of internship, and I'll have one of the best resumes on the market. Not that I'd need it, of course. I mean, I'd never leave Gamma. Every moment here is a, is a joy. Well, there's a lot to learn, and only so much time to learn it in. But you're making great progress. Keep your focus on work. I hope you will make us all proud. I only hope one day to make you all proud of me. Very well. Oh, I need to go check on some things. I, uh, back later. All right, so in this little room, I can destroy the evidence. There's also a little bit more intel on that neurochip implanted in the curator's brain, so let me try to read a little more. Research assistance notes. These are the research notes on the curator and his neurochip implant. They go into some detail on how the chip functions and how the increase and decrease in the dosage delivery affects his mood. The notes indicate that increases in dosage tends to result in the curator becoming quite elated, while decreased dosages revert him back to his default depressed state. Interestingly, the research assistant has been dosing the curator without his knowledge, using the chip remote control found in the curator's sleeping pod. Very interesting, so I'm going to actually use that right now. Let me whip out my remote and increase the dosage. Oh my! This space! The colors! Oh, the shapes! It's beautiful! Exactly as it needs to be! Oh, a place for everything and everything in its proper place! Oh my goodness! Oh, why haven't I known this before? I need to share this with my babies! This guy's absolutely crazy. And his pupil there just looks at him like that. So he's going to go into this room. Which coincidentally is also where Soder's replacement heart is. He's going to dismiss the guards there which is perfect for me. In the meantime I'm going to grab the screwdriver. So I can use it for an optional challenge. And you can see that the curator is now alone in that room. With the replacement heart. I'm going to do some editing here to show you an optional challenge that you can do at this point. So before going in that room, you can actually come down this way to unlock an optional challenge. Now if you choose to do this, you're not going to get Silent Assassin because this challenge involves killing someone. And if you know anything about Asian people, since we're in Japan, you know that they're amazing at DDR, Dance Dance Revolution. 
And that's kind of the theme behind this challenge. So let me create a few distractions here. Gonna knock that guy out. Nobody will find the body there. It's fine. But like I said, I do have to kill someone. Now while this DDR legend is busy investigating that, I'm going to expose the wiring. And also crank him up a notch to expert mode. And if you can think a little bit abstractly, you can kind of guess as to what may happen here. So let's sit back and enjoy the dance. Look at the dexterity on that dude's feet. He is insane right now, getting down on the floor. Climbing that combo, and you can see he's working up quite a sweat. There's a little puddle building at his feet. Definitely not safe with the exposed wiring, and eventually, he gets barbecued. That's unfortunate. So let me go ahead and fix this. And let Agent 47 have a go at it. You can see that that will unlock the challenge Tech Man, completely optional. And you can enjoy Age of 47 absolutely fail at this. I kind of enjoy it, because Age of 47 is so good at everything he does. But apparently Dance Dance Revolution was not part of his training in Romania. He's a master assassin, but he does not have the dance moves. I like the little music too, it's kind of funny. Apparently I need a dance teacher, that's kind of sad. I'm gonna take this guy's handyman disguise to count towards the chameleon challenge. Alright, so if you choose not to do Tech Man, you can just simply continue along here. You can see the curator is just examining stuff. Once he comes in closer, I'm going to decrease his dosage. And with that, he's going to leave the room and I can tailgate behind him into the room where the heart is. And gaining access to that room will unlock the challenge Telltale Heart. So as he leaves, I'm going to sneak him behind him. That is the right side of donor heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. Elegant solution for dessert. With sodas on the operating table, and no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. So very fun creative kill there that unlocks the challenge No Heart Feelings. And you can see the curator is going off to do something. By decreasing the dosage in his neurochip implant, I have made him very depressed. So let me stalk behind and see what exactly he's up to. I bank on the misery of others. I fill up a tiny space. It'll close up fast when I'm gone. God, this guy is so gloomy. It's ridiculous. Makes me depressed just listening to him talk. Act against the darkness. 
That could be enough. So you may have worked out what he's up to by now. He is in fact going off to his death. He plans on committing suicide. But let me see if I can do a good deed for the day and be a hero. This is as good a spot as any. One small step, that's all it takes. From this height, there's no return. No second, third, or fourth chances. So at this point, I'm going to increase the dosage one more time. Mm, that sensation. Oh, what an achievement. I feel... I feel so... I feel complete. Like I'm... I've finally come full circle. Father, look at me now. I need to go see it. My work. So I have prevented him from killing himself. If you press the neurochip at the right moment, he will not jump and kill himself. And that will unlock the challenge Guardian Angel. It does not pop up right away. You actually have to complete the mission for it to register. But that's alright. So next up, let me see if I can find a creative way to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki. And I'm going to move away from the hospital and towards the restaurant, spa, and yoga area. That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. Ah, aquariums always fill me with such calm. Looking at the beautiful fish, just serene in their simple existence, takes the stress right out of me. You got any tricks like that? Well, I do yoga. It's good for the body and the soul. It's actually quite an addiction of mine. Gotta say, I'm annoyed to have missed today's lesson. Ah, director got you working overtime as well? Uh, actually, no. The instructor here at Gamma managed to injure himself doing some highly advanced pose. Now he walks funny, he won't give any lessons. Met him in the washing area earlier. He refused to train me. Wow. That sounds like yoga is a lot more hardcore than I imagined. Oh, yeah. Some of those poses will positively kill you. So apparently there's a yoga instructor around here somewhere. Let me see if I can get more intel on him. I'm going to take this wrench because I'm going to need it in a little bit. I'm trying to step out here to trigger a conversation without getting spotted. There we go. What's up with the sudden lamp on our resident yoga master? Hmm, I noticed that. Heard him complain about it on the phone too, talking to his doctor. I think he overstretched or pulled a muscle or something. Uh, yeah, I guess that would explain it. There's a lot of annoyed people out there. That Yamazaki lady, the lawyer. She's really expressing uh, Terry, malcontent. Okay. Terry, Probably a good John, idea for him listen, to stay out of her reach. Well, he's been walking around like that since this morning, so well, I I'm pretty sure he's not going to be doing any routines with well. any of the guests. Well, well, what about you? Don't you have any uh, meds? Or this walk, too. It just felt so centered and so pure. And then the director came up and asked me to grab a lesson with Yuki Yamazaki, that, that Yakuza lawyer who's staying here I told you about. Oh, bad karma. Bad karma, man. Just terrible karma. Well, I'm not sure what happened exactly. I thought I had it, but then somehow I pulled something back there. No, back there. I can't walk very well now, and I've seen that Yamazaki woman stalking around the yoga platform, and I've been dodging calls from the director all morning, so I need, I just need a favor. I... I need you to call up the hospital, tell them you're my brother, make up some family emergency that I need to fly back home for right away. Why not? <laughs> Mom won't find out. Terry, look, I know you're only 12. No, don't get Mom, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Damn it. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hello, Mother. No, no, no. Everything's fine here. Just, I was just... Chatting with my little bro, just talking about all his video games and all that fun stuff that he's 
All this shoot 'em ups. We're cool. Listen, I've got to run, okay? Next appointment's here. Talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Okay, yes, yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. Damn it! That conversation is absolutely hilarious. I love it. And you can see the yoga instructor is limping. But apparently Yuki Yamazaki is looking for him so she can have a lesson. So you know what? Since he has a limp, I'm going to help him out today. I might go and do that lesson on his stead. I'm very impressed that he's willing to climb up the stairs with this limp. One slip and he could fall. Let me go ahead and take him out though. It's a perfect hiding spot here. Don't worry about this window, it's one way so nobody can see. And I'm gonna take the yoga instructor disguise that counts towards the chameleon challenge. But also when you put it on for the first time, you unlock the challenge, what's up dog? So now let me head towards the sauna and spa area and see what I can do there. So I'm going to clear out the whole area. First of all, I'm going to increase the sauna temperature. Both to make it dangerous and also to get rid of the two people that are in there. And then I'm going to turn off the cold water to the spa. And that's going to make the water temperature too hot. That way everybody who's out there will leave and leave the place pretty much unsecured and private. So once this guy is out of the sauna, the last thing I'm going to do is trigger a fire alarm for an optional challenge. So as you can see, everyone's freaking out, but the outside area is pretty much cleared out. Nice and private. There is the yoga schedule here. This is a schedule showing the yoga lessons for the day. Two things of immediate interest. JB, the yoga instructor, hasn't crossed off any of the completed lessons. And Yuki Yamazaki looks to have booked the entire day for herself. So I'm definitely going to be using that to my advantage. At this point, there are two options that you have to kill Yuki. And I'll edit off. to show both of them. Now once the fire alarm stops, these people will kind of gather into a hippie circle and that will unlock the challenge Namaste. But again, you can kill Yuki two ways and I'll show you both of them now. Now you can see that once the fire alarm stops, people start gathering into a little hippie circle. And that will unlock Namaste challenge. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. So your first option is to kill Yuki in the sauna. That's why I increased the temperature in there, to make it deadly, and to get rid of the people in there. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. That will unlock the challenge, Jeg Sauna Hende Ike. I have no idea if I said that right, but there you go. It's a fun kill, probably my favorite here. That lady's that hilarious. Is Yuki Yamazaki, Miss Yamazaki, former lawyer to the I Yakuza, believe you booked time current for yoga for lesson. Providence. Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. I'm glad you're here. If you will just follow me. So the second option is to kill her after giving her a yoga lesson. And that's why I turn off the cold water so this whole area can be private for just me and Yuki. I'm ready 
to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Let's begin. So nobody should see anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and close that anyways. And giving her yoga lesson unlocks the challenge Let hot springs. Begin with upward facing dog when you're ready. Now also when you kill Yugi for the first time, you unlock the challenge the watchman. And this will be an accident kill, so I'll unlock someone could hurt themselves. Warrior two pose. Call strength. Stay there for a while. Changing sides. Be strong. And finally, tree pose. This one is tricky. Find a good spot for it. This is a view to die for. <laughs> That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. So that unlocks the challenge a bit of a stretch, and leaving via the snowmobile unlocks the challenge on track. I of course did this silent assassin with no evidence, so those two will unlock as well. Thanks for watching, be sure to come back for the next episode, and enjoy the final cutscene of the game. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us. Bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Uh, well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. 
Miss Birdwood, we won a long time ago. This, this is maintenance. 